Okay. All right. Call this meeting to order at. You pass it. Five thirty-one. Five thirty-one. <clears throat> so first on the agenda, approval of prior minutes. Um, the chief hasn't gotten those finished up yet, so that'll happen at the next building committee meeting. That's at Fenway. So the first item will be schedule update. So that's this page here. Follow that one right there. Yeah. So this is an updated schedule I put together to show kind of our schedule for building committee meetings once we get into construction. But before we get into that, uh, the upper portion of this page will kind of goes over the bid phase that we just completed. So when we last met, April 23rd, we were just entering the bid phase. So the first part of the process is having filed sub bid contractors bid and then GC's bid. Prior to that, we had our pre-bid walkthrough. We, we started that as a conference in this room. John and I gave them kind of a quick summary of the, of the project, and then from here we went to the site, and folks who had questions on site, they asked questions, and it's a real quick 30-minute thing. And then um, you go into the filed sub bid process and then the GC bid process. So at this point, so it was last Thursday when we had the GC bid, and then, um, and I'll get into that stuff when we get to that agenda item, but it was good results. So what we're looking at here for look ahead for schedule is the goal is to have a, a vote tonight to go with the low and responsible GC bidder, and I'll, I'll get to that. With that vote tonight, I write a letter of recommendation to go with that bidder to the select board, and they present it at tomorrow night's select board meeting. They vote on that recommendation letter. And then the next day, this Thursday, I write a notice to proceed letter to that GC so we can get the ball rolling with them signing up subs and whatnot. And, and within like a two week time frame is when we kind of do the contract signing. Um, so in this lower portion on the schedule page where I show building construction phase, essentially what I did was from a month from today, and then at month intervals, I, I blocked in when we can meet as a building committee. So essentially, all these dates are Tuesday nights at 5:30, and the idea is the finance subcommittee, and I'll get to that, would be at, would meet at 5 p.m. the half hour before we start the building committee meeting. So two corrections on the dates. So item two, the building committee meeting that I'm showing July 9th change that to July 16th. Joyce can't, can't do the 9th. So July 16th. <clears throat> and then line item 3, the one right below it, where I have August 6th, change that to August 13th. But other than those two changes, it'd be good if everybody just kind of blocks in those dates in their calendar. And it'll be a good way for us to have our meetings scheduled ahead of time. Oh, which one? I got to mark that. Yeah. Come you don't want to tell me. You don't want to tell me. Oh, man. You brought it up. <laughs> I'm going to tell you which one. <laughs> the street list? Yeah. It's a big one, too. I could ask Danny. He probably doesn't He won't remember. He doesn't even know. He doesn't know his birthday. He's shopping for, your, shopping for his gift right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Who's the so, so you'll see I show July 1st as kind of like what I'm saying, start of construction. We might even be able to have them mobilized before that, but that's, that's what I've been carrying this whole time, so um, that's all. Can I ask a question? On yep. Before they start, are we going to have anybody mow that field? The backfield has been mowed. The straw Back, is down. Okay, I haven't been up that the way. The straw is down. Yeah, well, I know okay. we told Jennifer that happened. Okay, I just yeah, wanted to sure. make sure that that was clear. How about they, the side? Did they just brush hog and carry, or what did they do? Uh, Jeff took the straw off. Oh, did he? Well, yeah. 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 So I'm doing the, the front part, the yeah. junk grass, has not been mowed. Okay, that's fine. And I don't think Jeff's mowed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> any other questions on schedule before we get into the... All right, so next item, um, bidding update. So essentially I gave you the, the bid schedule update, but now we'll get into the GC results, bid results. So that's this form here. It's the staple package. 
So um, this is the GC bid tab. So essentially what it is is it lists out all the GCs that bid the project and then all the different items that are involved with their bids. So on page one here, uh, the column on the left is again all the contractors' names of the GCs that bid. And then that next block of columns, bid security, DCAM, sir, update statement. So those are all forms that need to be included in their bid. Next column, addendas. So this project had five addendas. Every bidder has to put that they, they um, had received all the addendas and have included that, those scopes in their bid. Base bid column, that's um, self-explanatory. And then we had two alternates on this project. All one was the, um, the equipment deduct, and then all two, the deduct to go to asphalt shingle and move metal roof. Um, if you go to the next page, the back side of that first page, just kind of flips over. Um, this, again, so every page, the column on the left is the contractors. And then on the right, all those columns are the filed subcontractors. So these, so, so roofing and flashing, painting, fire protection, plumbing, HVAC, electrical, those are the scopes in our project that were estimated to be 25K or more. So per the state, we got to list those as file sub work. So these, these different scopes were the ones that were bid when I said there was a filed sub bid before the GC. That was not the, the scopes of work that were bid. So they have to, whoever we pick has to work with these people. So the way it works is, and this happens on almost every job, the, the GCs carry the low filed sub bidder for each scope. And so the, the, the contractors you're looking at here, those are all the low filed sub bidders for each of those trades. The GC does not have to carry those, um, the low. If they've had a bad experience with the low and they want to eat the difference and carry the second low, they could do that. They've been ready to do that. Oh, okay. But that didn't happen here. Okay. Um, so that's that page. The, the next page, page three of the bid tab, again, left side is the contractor's name, and then on the right, um, part of their DCAM update statement that they produce with the rest of their bid paperwork, it talks about different judgments, liquidated damages, termination of contracts, et cetera, that they have you know, on their, uh, in their experience. So that's just where you know, we put yes or no if, if we saw issues within their bid. In this final page, the back side of that second page is essentially where you can see, you want to just flip it over, Paul. Um, so the highlighted number is the low bid. It was $2,385,550. That is a difference. That is $526,850 below what our construction budget was. So it's, it's good news. So we get to go with the... You have to go with our right, we, we won't use them. No. Right. Okay, so if we're going to get the metal roof and the other. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, we're still well, with, the, with the rest of the money that's left over, yeah. can we use that to put the communications here? Right. Yep. So that money I move into the contingency budget of the total project budget. So we and 100%, you know, yeah. you know, I would recommend let's get going into construction, let's get out of ground. Yeah. You know, any unforeseen stuff that might happen yeah. uh, or potentially will happen. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get past that part. Yeah, once, it it tightens up. Up. once it tightens up, we can 100% look at different owner requests and, sure. and whatnot. Yeah, we don't want to spend it before we know. Yeah, yeah get, out yeah. get out of the ground. Yeah. 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 I've been on other projects with the school in, the, in this place here, and it's, right. we had to do Pile of sticks, yeah. change yeah. orders, which costs yeah. money when you do a change order. Okay, that's that. I just wanted to know. Yeah. If we could spend it that way. Yeah. Could we? It's all part of the project. Yeah. Very good. And then, can you talk to us about this Kurtz guy? Sure. So I, I, I heard of him. So I haven't had a job with him, John. I know. I've had a few. Okay. And? Um, I mean, I go way back with Gene Kurtz. I was, I did his very first project with him. Mm -hmm. Um, small, smallish firm does a lot of public work. Um, where is he on? Westfield, I think. Westfield. He um, has a few people. The last job I did with him was probably a couple years ago for uh, National Guard. Um, I would say that he's basically an average contractor. I won't tell you he's great. I won't, he's certainly not bad. Okay. But he's a reasonable average average contractor. Do you and him can get along and work, oh, absolutely. work together? Absolutely. Yeah, no, no problems. Has he done something this size? 
Oh, yeah. When I looked at yeah, it. No, he, he, he does this project. He does this site. Okay. Not, not on his website, whenever else he doesn't show it, it's anything. He doesn't get them all the time. Mm -hmm. He's got to do a little bit to get good jobs. No, he, he, you know, his portfolio doesn't show yeah. jobs so, of his size or so based off of his DCAM statement and financial capacity, okay, he has the question. financial capacity to carry this job, um, as well as if you talk about like what he currently has in the books right now, he has the capacity to carry this job. So yeah. Yeah. So I, his work right. upcoming work yeah. Was, yes. Did you I consult see. with him, like, I know, on because he was lower, did you ask him, you know, if everything was, you sure he Oh, yeah, I, I spoke with Gene today. He, he feels very comfortable. And to be honest with you, this is a lot different, but... Well, right. But so let's talk about that. Though. So, so what's nice? What we like to see, John and I, like when you look at these numbers, they're all kind of all in the same range. So, so that means that there wasn't any glaring questions relative to what's in the drawings and specs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, he's only literally sixty k, yeah, sixty k right. below the next bidder. So, I, um, but yeah, no, he's comfortable with his number. Um, I asked him. Who's going to be your dedicated site superintendent? He mentioned this gentleman that um, has been around the block a bunch, and you see, I, I, you have one person I've worked with with him. Okay. Um, Who's the PM? It's going to be Sean. Sean Bush. Yes. I've worked with him. Okay. And who's going to be the representative for town? Well, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not. My role is not going to change. Okay. I've got some questions here. I'm not too familiar with some of the. Tech. Uh, this uh, DCAM, tell me what that is. So, um, DCAM, Division of Capital Asset and Maintenance Management, it's a department within okay. the state that essentially, if you're going to bid this project, you have to be DCAM certified. Yeah. I, 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 I okay. get that. No, it, it's over a certain amount of money. We had yeah. to, they had to find one for the roof here. It was we have to have uh, 200000 <coughs> What's that? Comp? Info. Company info. It, it's just a, a, a legal piece of paper that they have to certify they're uh, incorporated or they're uh, a sole proprietor. It, it's just a legal piece of paperwork. Yeah, uh, addendums. Yeah, what are those? Addendums are where uh, we, get, you know, we get questions during the bid. Yeah. Contractor says, can you clarify whether or not you know there's this much insurance required? Yes, there's that much insurance required. Right. Various things. Okay. Uh, the nice thing about it is they, it's a check and balance system. Okay. They find some mistakes before we get you know, too far down the road and we become change orders. Okay. We fix it. And some costs us more. You know, if we get a change order, I know some people are going to be doing their dance. So there, what, will be, there will be change orders. So yeah. Understand. Mm -hmm. So one thing I'll highlight that Ed asked before we started. So if you just go to the first page, you'll see that A crane construction is highlighted in, in yellow and I have rejected. So their bid package was incomplete. Um, they didn't sign their bid bond, and nor did they include a DCAM update statement. So that's just why it's yeah, that's stay away from that. So, um, if Joyce, you want to make a motion? Sure. To I'll make a motion to that. accept Kurtz and Company as the general contractor. Second. Should we take a vote not to accept the ultimates? Yeah, yeah you can oh, include oh. that in the motion. And I'll include that in the motion that not to accept the alternates. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, before I get, into, I have some unforeseen items. Before before I do that, do you have anything, John? Um, no. Okay. So first unforeseen item. So this page here, it's got the columns. This is the material testing matrix. So I want to say it was probably two months ago. Whenever it was, three months ago, maybe where. At one of the building committee meetings, I explained the material testing scope. So once we get into construction, we're going to hire a material testing company. So like when they're doing foundations, they're going to be on site to make sure the soil is compacted to 95% before they pour. They're going to inspect the rebar. They're going to grab samples of the concrete. It's, a, it's essentially an a on-site inspection and monitoring company throughout the course of construction that's re required for the mass building code. So anyway, so it's, it's, it's budgeted in the, in the project budget. So we issued a request for proposals uh, back in May, and this is the results of them. So you have a company, JTC, that's John Turner Consulting. That's the first kind of group of columns of values. And then the next group, Allied, that's Allied Testing. 
Um, so bottom line is if you, if you work your way down. So the way we do this is con you got a section of concrete and, and what we anticipate that uh, there might be testing on site for in terms of concrete. Soils and aggregates, what, what's going to be happening? We're on just doing a slab, right? It's a slab on grade, yep. Yeah. 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 Um, structural steel, mortar and grout, asphalt paving, combination rates, etc. So essentially this is us issuing an RFP saying to these folks, give us your unit price for these different tests and inspections. Because you, don't, you have no clue as you're going into construction how many times you're going to need them on site to do this and to do that, because it's all going to be based off of the GC schedule and when work's happening. Is it the only so, two that, that apply? Yeah, so I, we seeked out, I want to say, four vendors, and yeah. this is all we got, at least two. So, so uh, we have to pick one of those? So, well, let me just further, okay. so, so the way it works is um, you get their unit cost for these different items, you give them rough quantities that we think they're going to be on site for concrete, that we think they're going to be on site for soil compaction, et cetera. Did they have the specs when they did this? Or no? Did they have the specs in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So in our RFP, we have the specs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what you do is at the bottom there. So for JTC, you see that total dollar forty four thousand six seventy. For Allied, you see bottom thirty two thousand seven ninety five. That's just the sum of their totals of their unit costs. I, I don't think we're going to sniff half of that, but. That's how you approach getting pricing from these vendors. Is that price in the bid document yes, already? In the budget, budget. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Budget. It's yeah. owned in the construction documents okay. and we have it budgeted. Okay. Nothing that we have to pull from that extra money right no. now. No. Okay. Um, so if you will, I would recommend so Ally, just okay. so you know. I mean Is I, Ally I, doing the senior center? Yeah, they're doing the senior center. I've worked with them on umpteen jobs. I've worked with JTC too. Uh, both are fine. Um yeah, I've worked with Ally. Ally's great. Quite I like Ally. Yeah, Ally's good. Um so I would recommend right, I'll make a motion to accept Allied as the material testing second matrix. Contra uh, vendor. Uh, vendor. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Just yeah. watch them on uh, cylinder pickups. They like oh, yeah. to make so, a lot of trips. I got well, they, it. The cast of cylinder of the concrete, they have to leave it on site because it wants to keep under the same conditions that the concrete on site does. And then when they want to test it in seven, seven days, they want to make a special trip out to get it for 50 bucks or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Usually we like to coincide that with a different yeah. person mm -hmm. so you don't pay extra. Okay, so, that, so next unforeseen item. <clears throat> so, um, how do I want it? So, weekly project meeting subcommittee. So, now that we're going into construction, myself and John and the general contractor are going to meet weekly to go over the project. What we like to do is have one or two building committee members attend those meetings if you can I make can it. Do that. You don't have to, but huh? I'm retired. I can do that. I can be somebody yeah. hobble around. To so I spoke with Mike today, and um, I recommended he be one of the two. So if Mike and Ed, yeah. if people are okay with that, maybe we. Because you're during the day, right? You have yeah, they're going to be during. So John and I would talk about that earlier. So the senior center meetings are Wednesdays at one. We're thinking maybe this one is Wednesdays at eleven a.m. Or they're going to be on the on site. They're going to be well. So before there's a trailer on site, we'll have them here, and then once there's a trailer on site, it'll be in the job trailer. Oh, uh, mid July. So, so yeah, it's probably gonna be mid July. Yeah, as soon as they get mid, mid July, early. Yeah, the yeah. Power's the biggest thing. And when do you think we'll be in? Yes. <laughs> when do you look, think look we'll be the, in the station? Look at the schedule. Oh, look at the, the schedule. schedule right here. I don't need to look. I'm talking to you guys. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look at the schedule. I'm gonna say to you. Okay. August 11th um, next year. There you You're go. asking now? Oh my he God. Let's get your record. Occupying the building August 31st next year. Okay, okay, about a year. Let's get the project going first. Oh, how much? Oh, how much oh, oh, then, then, then I'm thankful you asked the question. There's never too much of that. <laughs> All right, so. Do you want to vote on it? What do you guys Ed do? Mike be, uh, sure, I'll, I'll make a motion to uh, have Ed and Mike be the sub finance committee. Well, well no, no, this will be the, um, the OAC meeting group. OAC meeting group. Is there any alternate? Uh, Myron, are yeah, you available? Sorry. Let's do this again. Because as Mike mentioned, you, if you're available. Also? Yeah. That's fine. So, okay. Gary, Ed, and Mike. Okay, so Gary, Mike, and Ed, uh, the OAC. 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 Meeting group. Meeting group. I'll make a motion. 
Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So do Aye. they get? Uh, you're probably going down that road. Do, does the OEC get uh, change order approval? So I'm on that right now. So the next number seen on so finance subcommittee. So another thing that happens during once you get into construction, you set up a finance subcommittee. So it's three or four members of the building committee meet like say a half hour before each building committee meeting and I present total project budget, what's been what invoices have been paid over the past 30 days, and then I get into contingency. What potential change orders are we seeing? And it's at those meetings where I request approval to negotiate with the GC. I, I'm tracking this proposed change order to be a five grand number. I want you to approve the five grand so I can try to get it at four grand. No. But we're, we already have made a rule at our selection. Right, so I'll, I'm going to get it back. Okay, thank you. So, no, I, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we're doing this on the Senior Center Project, and we have a finance subcommittee set up. And um, so, and I'm sure the select board wants the same for this job. So the, f the finance subcommittee will have the right to approve up to 10 grand mm -hmm. for a, a certain change, change order. order. Um, anything above that, it gets voted on by the select board. Do you foresee any of these? Any change orders, yes. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always change orders. Yeah. Which will cost But what's nice right? is the bid savings. Right. Yeah. Okay. We have a good chunk of change in the contingency now. Mm -hmm. um, so, finance subcommittee, uh, I think you should be a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then Mike will be a part of it. And then one other person. Uh, sure. And, uh, <coughs> I could be this. Okay, so for the finance sub, it'll be Ed, Mike, and Joyce. Mm -hmm. Make a motion. Make a motion that the uh, finance subcommittee is Joyce Chogo, Mike Spompanopo, and Edgar Kevins. Did anybody else want to be on Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, because right, right. you're already on the other one. Right. So can anybody else? So these would be, so when you look at the schedule, I show building committee meeting starting at 530, the financial subcommittee will meet at 5. Yeah. I guess you'll be quick I get somebody at work that. Unless something really goes in Yeah, they, will, they, they go 15 minutes and a half hour. But is that going to happen every meeting, even if there's not a? Well, e every month it'll happen. Oh, every oh, every month. Yeah. Right. But I'm talking, okay, I got you now. Yeah. But no, we the, won't. Even if you can't go, you. We sure, won't miss a one. month, if, oh, like yeah. say it's a good month, there's no change to talk about. I'll still talk about like the invoices that we're paying. I got gotcha. you. Know? Gotcha. Yeah. So did anybody else want to be on that? Five o'clock. I can do it. It's too much for Ed. I just think we should share the wealth. I'll do it. Just applaud you. I said, I didn't like it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That's all I have. So Phil, what's the process of rather than waiting for a monthly meeting to get approval on say a right. weekly basis as so, a meeting where it's well, advantageous? So so if something happens where uh, an issue pops up and a GC needs a quick turnaround on an answer, I'll have to notify the finance subcommittee yep. and we'll have to set up an improper meeting. Because mm -hmm. it, it 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 should be it needs to be a meeting. Mm -hmm. Can we do uh, an informative phone call. I don't think you can. For you the can't. State. No. For the oh, state. For the state. Yeah. I'll just ask. No. I, I, no. I'm glad you asked. I, I don't think you can. Okay. Anyway. Are you guys ending at six o'clock today? I don't think so. Yeah. We should. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Thanks a bunch. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Um, Who are you? And that's what we're doing on the senior center job, and things are going fine. So that's what we'll do. Well, what is the senior center going to start tearing down Hooker School? Well, that, that's the library. Well, library is tearing it down. They, the they take the contract. But I, I feel like we are. We hit, we hit asbestos, too. <laughs> They're going to hit asbestos oh, in the building. We hit asbestos in the ground. You did? did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much? Uh, we just hit it. We tested it. And so wow. now we're waiting to get sure. DEP going. There's huge rocks. There's asbestos out in the middle of the building. Some buried People buried pipe huge insulation. Rock. Old pipe insulation. What? There's big rocks over there. There's like chips really? of Yeah, it's... Another, dump, another dumping ground, huh? Debris. It, it, yeah, debris, it's just, it's or maybe old, they moved something and buried it there. I don't know. Old building debris that people just tried to bury. Uh, now we're getting the fortune of exposing it. You're going to get the asbestos. Well, there's going to be the asbestos in the, the building. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that, that's but at least they yeah. own that work. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't have yeah, it. It has surprised. been something yeah. on the job. All it's those a ground floors in the building are asbestos. Sure. Floors, the ceiling, the roof has it. How did we test it? Somebody spotted it? Oh, no, yes. they've been in there testing it. So the site sub 
as um, is certified. Oh, and yes. he looks so is at that what, So the example, with, is that something like that uh, person that we're hiring to ally to? Is so no, 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 no. I'm glad you asked. So a material testing don't that, get that mistake with environmental consultant and hazardous material. Okay. No, totally different. But similar to the senior center job, we don't have. You know, a hazmat consultant on this job. We're a ground up rail right, we're not So, so in the event way. we randomly start digging and we find buried pipe insulation that's hot, we're going to go through the same process. Seems to some jobs. Yeah. West Southfield, the fire station, the station is a natural field. Yeah, came up in the library. Came up what? Oil. Really? Ground. You're probably going to wind up finding that in a mortar too on bricks. Well, when we so were doing the foundation for the senior center, we found plenty of concrete and block and brick. That's all we have. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, so um, I'm going to try to schedule, and it seems like it's going to be this month. This upcoming Monday at 10 a.m. is going to be the the kickoff meeting for that OAC group. I know it's not the Wednesdays at 11 that we're thinking okay. we're going to do, but um, Monday at 10 a.m. because I'm going away the following week, so I want to do it next week. So Monday at 10 a.m. It's it's me. It's John. You get a vacation? No. You, Gary, Mike, and the GC will meet here. 10 a.m. Monday. Monday, 10 a.m. And at that meeting, we'll just step the GC through the whole process of you know, how we want them to go about each step of the construction. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So, Sounds good. Peach or blueberry? <laughs> I don't think it should be a choice. Yeah. I think we should have a little bit of both. Yeah. I was going to say the same. <laughs> uh, my first go to was going to be peach, but then the blue, I'm like, oh, no. I don't know. Joe can say it's terrifying. <laughs> okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. Sure. Favor? Aye. 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 Motion is okay. We're at uh, 550.